What's up TTFF people? Welcome back to the Tucson Family Food Project. My name is Steven Cotarobles. Today we're gonna make a classic Mexican dish that can trace its origins all the way back to the 1500s. This dish literally has hundreds of different recipes, but it wasn't until the development of trade routes right here in the American Southwest that green chilies were incorporated into it, which is the recipe that we're gonna make today. So get ready to eat all your veggies, because today we're making one of my favorite dishes of all time, calabacitas. In your meal kit this week, you'll find one pound of squash, six and a half ounces of onion, 2.8 ounces of poblano pepper, 2.8 ounces of red pepper, three ounces of a mix of cheddar and jack cheese, 3.8 ounces of green chili, 2.4 ounces of corn, 3.6 ounces of tomato, and a tablespoon of garlic and two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And all you're gonna need to make this week's recipe is a frying pan and a wooden spoon. First thing we're gonna do is heat our oil over medium heat. Now that our oil's nice and warm, we're gonna add in our onions and poblano peppers. And we're gonna cook this for about five minutes or until the onions turn translucent. Now we're gonna add in our garlic and let this cook for about another minute. Now we're gonna add in our zucchini and our red bell pepper. And we're gonna cook this for about five minutes until the zucchini or squash is nice and tender. Now that our squash is nice and tender, we're gonna add in our corn and green chilies. And we're gonna cook this for about two to three more minutes. And then once this is done, we're gonna add in our tomatoes and cook it for about another minute. So there is our recipe for calabacitas. Now, like I said, there are literally hundreds of different ways to make this recipe, and your family might even have their own special way of doing it. Thank you so much to Pivot Produce for their donation of the zucchini we use today. It's a recipe I've been wanting to teach you for a really long time, and I'm glad we finally got the chance to do it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We're growing and your support really means a lot. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you back here next week with another delicious recipe. So until next time, peace.